right, guys. So let's work on our blanket. Now, this is what I have so far. And if you remember, I put a stitch marker so down at the bottom so I could tell what was the right side. Now, when we did 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, and 22, after row 22, it tells you not to turn it because you want to do row 23 on the right side. So, if you've been doing what I did, I've been turning it after every row. And so when I got to row 22 to do row 23, I was on the wrong side. So I thought about it. And remember, this is an intermediate pattern. And they don't tell you everything. What should have happened is you would cut your work, keep your blanket always on the right side, cut your work, and start at the other end. Okay? It did say somewhere to join... The color in there but it also said to join the color in the chain top of the chain three so I don't want you to rip this out if you turn the row after each the work after each row only take out the row 22 okay so 22 should be a right side row and a right side row would have two doubles then you would skip over to the chain one space do your um what did they call that kind of shell my papers on the floor what did they call it they called it a lopsided shell so the last row regardless of what you've been doing do attach this last color which is color B in the top of the chain three. So if it's whatever way it is, just make it on the right side, the top of chain three. Then do two doubles. I did one in the chain three and one in the next one because it's not real clear about that. Then I skipped over to the chain one space and did my lopsided shell. And so that's what I'm gonna do next. Skip over to the chain one space, do a lopsided shell. I'm gonna do that all the way across. I'm not going to turn the work. I'm gonna cut this uh, number color number B, fasten it off, and then we'll be starting row 23. Okay, so I'll meet you back. Hi guys, so we're going to do, um, let's see, what are we going to call this? This is our Christmas make-along blanket, and this is doing rows, starting with row uh, 23. So, row 23, you should be on the right side. Okay, see there's my stitch marker. I'm trying to get it to show it to you. There's my stitch marker, which means I'm on the right side. Now, if you haven't marked your right side, the right side is the side where there's no tail. The other end has the tail, the beginning tail. Okay, so this is the right side. And if you take a look from the back to the front, you can pretty much tell that this is the front. Now, row 22 should have been a front side row, a right side row also. And uh, we're going to proceed here with row 23. Now, it says do not turn it, so we're still on a front side row. <laughs> I just lost my yarn. So what that means is that we are going to cut the yarn. I'm going to get my scissors. 
scissors. Here's my scissors to stay on a right side row. So what I'm doing here is I'm going to cut this yarn, you know, leave a tail and fasten it off. Okay, so let's see how much yarn I'm going to do. Probably right there. So that is the end of color B for right now. And I'm going to take and pull this through and then move to the other side of the blanket, staying on the right side. See, there's the right side. So what we're going to do is I made a slip knot. Okay. And I'm going to see here if I'm going to put it through. Because it says to join color C to the first double crochet. So that's like, you know, this double crochet here. So I have, this is double crochet, so I'm going to join it right in there. So what I can do is put the hook through the loop. Make sure you get two loops on your hook. Put the slip knot on the hook and then chain three. Okay. Now it says double crochet in the space between the first two double crochets. So what I've been doing is I've just been doing a double crochet in the next double crochet. Okay, so that's what how I've been doing it. So I just put it in the top of the next one. Then it says two double crochets in the second double crochet of the three double crochet group. So that's why you had to stay because we wanted three double crochets chain one double crochet on our lopsided shell okay so in the second this is the first one two and three so it says to put two double crochets in the second double crochet of the double crochet group so there's one And there's two okay so that's what I got so far two double crochets in the next chain one space okay so basically I'm skipping over here and putting in two double crochets okay so that's what it looks like I have two in the second one, two in the chain one space. It says to repeat this all the way across to the last double crochet. Okay, so let's do this again. This is the uh, double crochet three group. So we're going to skip one and go right into number two. We're going to do two double crochets and then move across and put two double crochets in this chain one space. And that's what we're going to do all the way across until you have one double crochet left. So I'll meet you back. Okay, so row 23, so row 23, it said to um, go to the last two stitches, cross to the last two stitches, double crochet in the space between the last two to two double crochets in the last space between the last two so I guess we could just go right in here if you want and we'll just do two double crochets there we go 
And at this point, you're supposed to have 96 double crochets. So if you want to, I counted mine already and I have 96 double crochets. Now we're going to continue in this color C um, until we get to row 28. So we're, this was row 23. So we're going to continue with color C. Now it says to chain three. So make sure you have 96, chain three and turn. So now we're working on the wrong side. I'm going to do a chain four and then a double crochet in that space. Then I'm going to skip two stitches and do a V stitch. Double crochet, chain one, double crochet. Okay, that looks better because then this will go up like this, you know, on the next row. Okay, so it says to do V stitches all the way across to the end. And you should have 48 V stitches. So I'll meet you back at the other side. Um, and then we'll begin row 27. Count your V stitches and make sure you have 48. Okay, so I read ahead. This is row 24 with the V stitches. So rows 24, 25, and 26 will have V stitches. You will turn your work and you'll have 48 V stitches on each row. So 24, 25, and 26. And I'll meet you back for row 27.